Hi, this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com, your online piano store, with a viewer question. When was the piano invented? You'd think this would be a simple question, and in fact, if you Google it, you'll probably come across the name Bartolomeo uh, Cristofori, because he is credited with inventing the piano. However, if you were to see the instrument that he actually invented, you would think, this is a piano? <laughs> because it was far different from the modern piano we all know and love. So what is it that he did where he's credited with inventing the piano back in around the year 1700, the end of the 1600s? Well, uh, Cristofori was actually a harpsichord builder. That's right, he made harpsichords. He decided to try a new technology which had never been done before, which is building a harpsichord with loud and soft a cembalo forte piano, which is how we even come by the name piano today. The translation from the Italian. And the way he did it was the harpsichord plucked the strings and you got a very vibrant tone, which is why that was the keyboard of choice because other keyboards other than the organ, which was a fully developed instrument at the time, instruments um, you know, like the virginal and the clavichord were so delicate in tone that they really couldn't be used in performance or with other musicians because they weren't loud enough. Well, the problem with be plucking the strings is you get no dynamics. That is to say, on a harpsichord, pushing the key with great force or very lightly produces exactly the same volume. So, by using a hammer action, a very primitive mechanism, but indeed a hammer action, it was possible on the very early piano that Cristofori made, or the harpsichord with soft and loud, you were able to get dynamics. However, the harpsichord grew over centuries. During Beethoven's lifetime, it was quite different from Beethoven's early years to his middle years to his later years. The instrument kept developing. You can even see in his writing how the keyboard expanded during that time. It's much like today, computers. Who invented the computer? Well, of course, you can go back centuries to mechanical computers, but the earliest computers that we think of as computers were vacuum tube computers starting in the 1930s or so. By the 1950s, there were rooms full of vacuum tubes with people running around replacing all the burnt out tubes. Yeah, that was a computer. We don't think of that as a computer today, do we? So it's kind of the same thing with the piano. It had a long development. It wasn't really until the 19th century that the piano came into its own. But even in the mid 19th century, composers like you know Chopin and Liszt were writing music that we play all the time on modern pianos, but their pianos weren't fully modern. The idea of crossing the strings hadn't really evolved yet or began to evolve. Many action parts and the whole design of the action evolved. So the modern piano really wasn't around until the end of the 19th century. And by the 1870s and 1880s, companies like Steinway, they were making fully modern pianos. In fact, the models that we have today of Steinway are virtually the same except for some additional refinements than the ones they were producing. The basic scale design was the same as the ones they were making in the 1880s. So a very complex question. So the piano originally was invented, the very, very first pianos, around 1600, but the, what you and I know and think of as a piano with the, the action, with all the, the myriad parts to have the kind of control and the tone that's possible with the, the what, about 12,000 parts in a piano, that really came about at the end of the 1800s. I hope this answers your question. It's actually a much more complicated question you ever thought, right? Thanks for joining me again. Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store.